We know that the food we eat influences the composition of our microbiome. However, it seems like it's not just what you eat, but also when you eat. We now know that the bacteria in our gut also undergo a kind of wake-sleep cycle, a so-called circadian rhythm. A healthy gut community fluctuates throughout the day, and also the expression of genes can differ drastically. After scientists discovered that bacteria follow a circadian rhythm as we do, they asked the question if time-restricted feeding, so intermittent fasting, can maybe restore or improve the natural cycle of the bacteria in our gut. After all, a healthy microbiome and intermittent fasting have a lot of things in common when it comes to health benefits. Intermittent fasting, for instance, can reduce inflammation in the body, it aids weight loss, it improves insulin sensitivity, protects the brain, reduces the risk for heart diseases, and last but not least, increases the lifespan. So now let's have a look what a healthy microbiome can do for us. Like intermittent fasting, it reduces inflammation, aids weight loss, improves insulin sensitivity, protects the brain, reduces the risk for heart diseases, and again, can increase lifespan. With all these similarities, it makes sense to look how one can potentially affect the other. A study from 2004 looked at how intermittent fasting can influence our microbiome. They divided mice into two groups. One group had 24 hours access to food, and the other group was restricted to an eating window of 12 hours. I personally would not call this a classical intermittent fasting schedule. However, when it comes to mice, it mimics pretty good what intermittent fasting can do. The researchers then fed the mice an unhealthy fattening diet and looked into the health effects of it. The group of mice with a restricted feeding window had slower weight gain, better glucose levels and no fatty liver disease compared to the mice on an unhealthy diet with 24 hours access to food. In fact, there was surprisingly not much of a difference between the mice group that consumed a healthy diet and the group that ate an unhealthy diet but on a short feeding window. Ok, so what did intermittent fasting do to the microbiome? Well, intermittent fasting did not restore completely a healthy cycling gut community as seen in a healthy eating mice. However, levels of obesity protective bacteria were still increased compared to the mice who had access 24 hours to an unhealthy diet. The researchers concluded that time-restricted feeding, in which feeding is consolidated to the nocturnal phase, partially restores the cyclic fluctuations. This indicates that intermittent fasting can improve our gut health. But of course, it's not a magical pill that replaces a healthy diet completely. Another interesting study from 2017 found that alternate day fasting in mice leads to an elevated production of the short-chain fatty acid acetate, which is usually produced in our guts when our microbes feed on fiber. Short-chain fatty acids have been shown to be very beneficial for our health, as they initiate fat loss and reduce inflammation levels in the body. By the way, acetate is also the main component in apple cider vinegar, and is the reason why it has so many health benefits. Other studies in mice have found that intermittent fasting protects the gut against stress, including inflammation, and that intermittent fasting even supports the clearance of pathogenic bacteria in infected mice via a similar process. Even though there is not yet a lot of research on how intermittent fasting might impact our microbiome, we have seen that there is some evidence that intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding can be very beneficial for us and our microbiome. It is not yet completely understood why this is the case. One of the leading hypotheses is that bad microbes need a constant flow of energy to survive and strive. And the good bacteria are more adjusted to periods without easy accessible food. And it makes sense if you think about it, as bacteria have adjusted to the diet of our ancestors, who didn't have access to food three times a day and sometimes even went without food for days. Our bodies are really good at self-repairing and healing, if we just give them the time to do so. It is like repairing a street. If you want to fix a street, you have to block the traffic for a certain amount of time. And it can be the same for an unhealthy microbiome or any other disease. Next time we will look at the benefits of intermittent fasting on our brain, so make sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.